These dogs were raised to be food, uh, to be meat. This is video of Humane Society International rescuing the dogs from a meat farm in South Korea, where people consume about two million dogs a year. What kind of conditions were they in? They were essentially held in wire crates. Once big enough, the dogs are sold. Auctions, essentially, to be auctioned off to restaurants and things like that. They are caged from the moment they're born, often small cages, no room to move. They're left outside in the elements, never know the warmth of a bed, left dirty, not nearly enough food or water, no socializing with their peers or the people around them. In South Korea, there are farms designed to do nothing more than raise dogs for food, as you heard, an abhorrent thought to those who understand not just the intelligence of these animals, but their worth to human life as companions, friends, members of a family. Someone is doing something about it, and in the process proves that Americans have just the right soft heart and the desire to make a difference. Welcome back to the founder at Guardians of Rescue, Robert Masseri. Robert, it's always a pleasure to get a chance to talk to you and at least shed some light on what's happening here. The report indicated two million dogs a year in South Korea are being used like this, but this is a culture. They have eaten dogs there for lifetimes. How do you hope to change that? Well, it's going to be complicated, but the younger generation now, Ed, uh, is not what it was back then. The younger, the, the college students in Korea are against it. Uh, the younger generation is not going into these restaurants, and if they do, they order something else. Uh, so it's changing, but it's not changing enough. There's still two million animals just in Korea who are tortured, uh, and I mean tortured, uh, before they're cooked. Let's, let's so bring that up for a second. Changing. I want you to stop there for one second here. I didn't bring up the word torture. What do you mean? Give us examples. Well, uh, the biggest uh, belief uh, for uh, consumption of dog is that this, it would bring stamina to men, virility, uh, strength. And that's why they eat dog. It's not because they can't afford anything else. In fact, dog is more expensive than chicken. Um, but the belief that if the dog is tortured and beaten before it's killed, it'll get the adrenaline going and it'll, it'll make the meat more tender, tender and it'll give them more stamina when they eat it. This is something that has been believed for, for many, many years and this is something we need to start to change because there's, there's, no, there's no truth to it. There's only a couple minutes we have left here. 58 of these dogs recently came to Washington State. I know there's more. How many do you hope to rescue and, and what's it cost to do something like this? It's not cheap to get them from Korea to the United States. Uh, we have a few coming back now, a mom and her, her litter that was rescued uh, from a restaurant. Uh, we are trying to bring back as many as we can and to bring awareness to let people know uh, what's really going on. And it's, it's, it's the most barbaric thing in, in, in my lifetime. And I, I, in, in a civilized society like this, we should not witness this. And for countries like Korea who bring in such products such as Hyundai and so forth and so on, um, we need to really address this and uh, bringing awareness to it and saving as many lives as we can is important. We're trying to raise funds for this, Ed, um, to get as many dogs back as possible and they're coming directly from the markets. Robert, I only got about 40 seconds left. With all the problems in the world, you know there are people out there saying, why is this important? It's important to that dog and it's important to our culture as a humane culture to, to, to see that this gets stopped. Are people getting it? Are they getting it here in America and in other countries? Slowly, but most people don't want to realize it's really happening, and that's why awareness is important. We're happy to bring the awareness here. I've said this many times. You know this, times we've been here. I'm a dog guy, got a couple of my own. I get emotional about it all the time, and I get angry when I see things like this. And I just hope that if we're able to help one or two or put one of these dogs with a kid somewhere or a family and just have them live a good life, I feel like we have done something here. I want to remind everybody, please help the effort here. Go to guardiansofrescue.org, donate, adopt, be part of the solution, learn about this, because the attitudes are changing around the world, and this is a barbaric, barbaric practice that needs to be stopped, and we as Americans can do it. We have the heart. Robert Masseri from Guardians of Rescue, always a pleasure, my friend. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's talk again. And Make it a, a very uplifting talk next time we do. Stay with us because the fastest 60 minutes of news thanks you for your help, and we continue.